You should eat lunch and No, no, it's work. recording. I'm like, I just started. Oh, now you're recording. It's recording, yeah. What I'm saying? Yeah. It's not nice. I say it's not how you talk. It's okay, I'm not putting it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome to What A Week, coming to you from Sunny White Rock. I'm actually at my parents' place right now, and as you can see, there are paintbrushes, and there are beads, and porcelain, and all these weird-looking sharp tools that I don't know how I survived as a child around this stuff, but um, basically my parents are artists. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later in the show. It's always good to come home. So that's why I'm in like my grandpa sweater. It's a different camera. I literally am using like, I, this is all makeshift. Like this is, I don't have nice lights. I'm just using whatever I've got. Um, Minnie's over there. This is my dog Minnie. Let me introduce you to her really quick. She's got to make an appearance. Oh, oh. All right. Minnie, want to say hi? Come here. Come on, Minnie. Look at that. Look, these are my friends. She always just sits by the door and she thinks that she's way bigger than she really is. You're a feisty little one, aren't you? Yes, you are. Kiss? Oh. Thinking about it. <laughs> All right, anyways, it's gonna be a good show today. Uh, I have an awesome giveaway that has to do with all of this behind me. Um, but first, let's go and dive into most interesting things that happened in the news this week. All right, now since I am in BC, I thought I'd start with some uh, some British Columbia news. And this just got me really excited. Um, Christy Clark has uh, put a mandatory ban on service workers having to wear high heels. I remember uh, probably about like six, seven years ago, I had just graduated school. So what do you do when you graduate school? You go and get a job in a restaurant. Now, life is hard enough then. And then on top of it, you gotta wear high heels? Just because you're a female and they want you to look a certain way? Um, I remember I didn't wear high heels one time and I actually got sent home from work so I didn't actually make money that day when I needed to and uh, and it really, really, really bothered me. So seeing this, uh, it, it just it struck a personal chord. After this went viral, the bill actually did die but it's going to be revisited um, in, on May 9th when uh, the provincial election happens. Number two, in more Canada news, Matthew Perry, yes, formerly known as Chandler from Friends. Uh, he's half Canadian and he actually went to school with the one and only smoke show Justin Trudeau. Smoke show Justin Trudeau rhymes. That is totally your new name. Believe it or not, he actually beat up Justin Trudeau. He was, Matthew was just on the Jimmy Kimmel show and he told, this is what he said. We actually uh, beat up Justin Trudeau. You beat him up? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> Number three, hopping over the border to the US, the women's hockey team is actually going to be boycotting the world championships. They are saying that they are not paid enough. Now, they are literally getting paid virtually nothing. Imagine you're a hockey player, uh, you have to train year round, and then for the six months leading up, to uh, the championship, they're getting paid $1,000 a month. You can't live on that. The crazy thing is, is uh, training starts on Tuesday and they all are standing together and they don't plan on being there. So uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens and follow along with this story. Number four, Girl Guides Canada is suspending travel to the US. So with the recent travel ban that Donald Trump implemented where seven predominantly, like they're Muslim countries, he is not letting them into the United States. Um, the Girl Guides organization in Canada has said that no girl is left behind. But let's end things on a little bit of a Lighter note, number five, Monopoly unveils their new playing pieces. So um, the fans voted for the thimble, the wheelbarrow, and the boot to be kicked on out. And instead they now have a rubber ducky, um, a penguin, and a T-Rex. Super random. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, what are your thoughts? Like, why is there a dinosaur? Like, there is no consistency whatsoever. I'm confused. Are you confused? Let me know if you're confused in the comments below. Anyways, 
time to go to the next segment. So today's most interesting person you should follow is Mr. Just Rain. Not only is he one of my closest friends, but he is one of the most talented people I've ever come across in my life who uh, holds his head high up with integrity for his art. Now, um, he is predominantly known as a YouTube personality. He got over a billion loops on Vine when Vine was around again. Alright, um, he also has one of the biggest audiences uh, out of any Canadian personality um, on Snapchat. Hey, do you think you could like lift up your dish real quick I just, so I can get to my dishes, so I can clean my dishes? I don't want to touch your dishes, so I don't know what was in it, so... Uh, I'm just on the phone right now, so... Did you just lift it up? He's kind of like the guy who has passed the baton. He's inspired so many YouTubers that have really, they've absolutely blown up. The thing I respect most about Just Rain is uh, I always ask him like, why don't you move to Los Angeles? Like, why don't you, you know, go and collaborate with people out there? And he's always said, he goes, I know what lane I'm in. He really, really respects the art form of comedy and uh, he just, he knows what his focus is and he is focused on longevity and I truly believe that he is going to be one of the um, the few content creators that is going to be able to stand the test of time. So everybody give Just Rain a follow. If you're not following him already, uh, he's gonna keep you smiling. And um, yes, I'm very proud to call him my friend. Everybody, this is Just Rain. On a scale of one to 10, how cool are you? Mm, three, solid three. Uh, does Justin Trudeau turn you on even just a little bit? He, I mean, not a little bit, but of course, a lot bit. Are you addicted to anything? Internet. What video are you most proud of? Bounce with Timothy Do I Get Up. Are you an Android or Apple user? Apple. Come on, jeez. Nikon or Canon? I've never used Nikon in my life, Canon. But even though I'm using Canon, yeah. Uh, which sports team in Toronto are you the biggest fan of? Uh, Raptors, most interesting sport to watch. If you were to land on the moon, what would you do? Uh, just see how high I can jump and be like, oh shit, 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 just float away and just be like, ah, oh, bad idea. Probably bad idea. Um, have you ever dated a crazy person? Well, of course. Okay, what was the worst thing she did? Uh, <laughs> next question. <laughs> Okay, so as you know, I'm not at home. There is no drawer behind me, but there kind of is. Let's do a drawer that keeps on giving. So we're gonna pretend, I already have picked out what I'm gonna be giving away, but let's pretend. Oh my goodness. Guys, <laughs> before I show you what this is, um, I want to tell you the significance of what I am giving away. I grew up in a very unconventional home. Um, my parents are jewelry designers. My dad focuses on glass beads, my mom focuses on porcelain beads. And a lot of, I like, I grew up in an art studio. That's what's, what's crazy. My parents were always home. Um, they, <laughs> there was like the porcelain room, there's the glass bead room, where my dad would be firing away with like torches. Uh, there was like a kiln outside. They really believe in energies and the way that things can heal you, you know, be it certain words, certain objects. And um, my mom, when she, and my father, but a lot of the stuff that my mom makes um, is very symbolic. So I went through all of her jewelry, as you can see with all this like B-roll, I went through all the jewelry this morning and I settled on one thing that I want to give away to you, which is this bead. This right here is the evil eye. And and I actually picked out one that I am going to be wearing. They're matching. Um, so it's essentially, it's kind of like a little bit of a friendship bead necklace. So the reason why I picked an evil eye is because my mom actually wears one on her wrist, um, on one of her bracelets, pretty much every day. And it is known to ward off bad energies, bad spirits, and uh, it's, it's a symbol of protection. This is a really special thing for me to give away because whoever receives this, uh, I mean, it's it's interesting. I look at the back and you see like my mom, she actually with her hand just put like an F for her name, Fiona, 
and she did this with her hand it came out of her brain and that's my mom and now I'm gonna send it to you it's actually really personal to me so um, whoever does get this I hope that you cherish it and uh, and that it, it brings you good energy Okay, so if you would like to win this evil eye friendship necklace pendant, um, head on over to my Instagram and I'm going to post a photo of me wearing the necklace. Um, if you go to the account, give it a follow and underneath that picture, leave a comment and um, in the comment, I want you, you to leave a note to my parents and you can say anything you want about uh, the jewelry, uh, it's more that I just, I'm, I want to show them sort of the community that's around the watches what a week because you're all really positive and encouraging and uh, you know I want to, I just want them to feel I guess special because they make me feel special. So um, yeah, I'm going to post that photo now and I think that's it. That's Anyways guys, I am going to go upstairs and eat my mom's food because uh, she is an amazing cook. Uh, next week's What A Week is going to be coming to you from probably, it's going to be coming from California, either LA, maybe San Diego. I don't know exactly where I'm going to be, but again, you're going to get like a different environment. Um, so I hope to see you next week. But in the meantime, like I always say, work hard, be kind to one another, and spread happy vibes. I will see you very soon. Bye.